Hello again, so here on a bit farther on the streets, there's another of these traffic lights, quite, yeah, quite nice, very well visible from everywhere. For the pedestrians it's also useful because then you know you can't cross without having to look at some particular place, it's really obvious. Uh, it is noisy here, the car should have just be removed from the center of Kiev, would make it a lot better. Let's see, I'll go here, see what I can see, I can find here. Uh, this, this is between the various apartments, buildings, this is better. So what I wanted to state in the video where I describe some cases of antisocial behavior, the extremer cases, narcissist, psychopath, I also described accusing others of what they do themselves, that's general for all antisocial behavior, even uh, yeah, perhaps you know people um, in certain neighborhoods with a lower education. These also have an influence on how they behave. So and social behavior is only thinking about yourself or primarily about yourself. And you can see it in the type of comments that someone makes. Um, so what I wanted to say, I have very important by the way, the higher the education of someone, if he then makes antisocial comments, like unfriendly comments, for example about the war in Ukraine, putting a comment on YouTube with a smiley after an attack by Russia, then you, you, you know that person is antisocial. But if you also know his education, then you know more, because education makes people a bit more aware. So the higher the education, and they still make antisocial comments, then you know that it is inherent in that person, a quite deep antisocial personality. So that's quite hilly in Kiev, in various places. And there are various, so that's that street there, that's quite a few meters down, perhaps seven or eight or so, perhaps ten. Um, but the problem is YouTube, that's what I wanted to get to, and that is, someone posted a comment that he could not get a comment through. And I read his story, it was a link to a story with some description of a woman who, who cheated on her husband, but not just that, when he said he wanted a divorce, she killed her children because she didn't want him. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to get there, but I'll have to go through the noisy street again. Um, she didn't want to have him to have the children. That, that is, uh, for, for men, extremely uh, rare to do, even if they're emotionally in some kind of uh, situation where they're not stable. For women, it is it is even more so, and also what she did, buying a knife before she did it, indicates that she didn't care anything about those children. What she cared about was herself and her life. Yeah, going here. And in some cases, in some situations where she may not have seen another way to get what she wants, 
then take what another person wants which is of course antisocial behavior and it's, it's really stupid because you're destroying your own life but okay so the problem with YouTube these comments didn't go through the links didn't go through and I've ha I made remarks about this, I made a video about it, about ghosting of comments. And it's not just about channels, certain channels such as Times Radio. Some guy said, yeah, you shouldn't uh, want to have your comments seen. And that's not, it's not about asserting my self, my insights or anything. It's, I just want, I'll look a bit here. To show people what it what the reality is of various situations and I want to see the comments but on my own channel I made a comment once of a guy who made a really stupid antisocial remark and I didn't see it when I was logged out so I can't even place comments on my own channel that then get visible for everyone to see absolutely ridiculous so what I did was I I just banned this guy I'm, I, I don't have time for this nonsense and that's rare if you want to give criticism it's fine but if you do it in an antisocial way then I will delete the comment or ban the person this, it's just not useful I'm not interested I'm not offended I, I, uh, I only know then that that person doesn't understand anything about me or what I'm doing but he's wasting everyone's time so it's not times radio and recently I saw with my own channel I couldn't see comments I logged in I couldn't see comments by some user I don't know what it was I had to use YouTube studio on my phone and uh, go through the, all the settings of have you responded to a comment, is it a new comment, blah blah blah, I don't know what. And then finally I saw it somewhere. I said, why? Why can't I effing see my channels on my own comment, on my own channel? Even if they're hidden by, by YouTube, I don't want that, that nonsense. This kind of stuff makes YouTube worthless as anything to discuss anything or to get to the truth. Of course, that is already a problem, as I mentioned, for example, political correctness is a problem. It's, uh, it's following political correctness means you cannot get to the truth. So if, uh, if YouTube follows political correctness, they are not interested in the truth. It goes for anyone and any system. It's trivial to, to, to realize, but I don't know why people haven't made this uh, extremely obvious deduction that implicit in political correctness is not being able to get to the truth. At least political correctness in the sense of letting people decide for themselves what is acceptable instead of using some some deeper thing so you can it would be stupid to say well someone who steals something from a shop and he says yeah that wasn't stealing i don't agree with it uh, that's that's ridiculous all right so comments, I could see them finally, I uh, couldn't reply, I don't know, but, but I, one guy who made a stupid remark, I named him, and I think I deleted the comment, it's just so worthless, some idiot who thinks he knows, and knows something about me, but knows absolutely nothing. Yeah, right, that's it for now, bye.